In the rural parts of Burkina Faso, many girls are denied the right to choose when or who they marry. Out of respect for their parents or submission to customary rules, often escaping a forced marriage is very difficult for many girls. Moba Fati is one of the few brave ones. My father's big brother wanted to force me to marry. I thought he was joking. I was in fifth grade when he and my father decided to get me married. To a man who is over 70 years old, and even his children are older than me. At the age of 15, she ran away from her family. Luckily, she found refuge at the Puksada Association, a reception center for children in distress. When girls come to us, we must first secure them, listen to them and free them because they come in distressed and in tears. We also have to find where to house them and reassure them. That's what we do every day. After that, we must try to meet the perpetrators of their ordeals who are usually their parents to listen to them and mediate. The association has organized a meeting between Morba Fati and her parents. Here, the young girl hopes to express the dreams she has for her life. My most ardent wish is to finish my studies and become a responsible woman in life. I hope that Pusada Association will convince my parents so that they give up their plans. Burkina Faso adopted a national strategy to prevent child marriage in 2015. The plan is taking time to gain momentum. But in some rural areas, the local chiefs have pledged their full support. To date, we have more than 400 villages that committed to abandoning the practice of child marriage. We also have nearly 6,000 girls who are kept in schools thanks to the financial support of partners UNFPA and UNICEF to support their schooling. Early or forced marriage in Burkina Faso is illegal. But the law is really enforced. It does not prevent traditional or religious marriages, which creates a loophole in the law. Over 52% of women in the country are married before the age of 18. Authorities in Burkina Faso hope that the national prevention strategy will significantly reduce this trend by 2025. Tuli Shabalala, CGTN.